I live on the river, so uh, the river's a big influence. Water's a big influence to me. I hike a lot, I kayak. I just always love nature, and I like that sense of place and, um, and the tradition of landscape. Acrylics have not been around for a very long time. Uh, oils have been around for centuries. I think acrylics really became popular in the 50s um, with a lot of the contemporary artists. And my work is, I feel I'm very connected to traditional landscape artists. It's important to me. I, you know, I visit museums and I, I look at books and um, I really love the tradition of landscape, but most of those paintings were in oil. So acrylic is a new, new medium and um, so I kind of make it my own. I think in recent years, I use a lot of just my own, like kind of inspiration of, um, it's very uh, intuitive uh, for me to paint landscapes and I know all the elements and I know all the shapes and the, you know, the trees and the rocks. And, and so then it's kind of like fun for me to put it together like a puzzle. And sometimes I'll just not look at a reference and just start putting elements in and, and make it work. I think I have a recognizable style over the years. Um, I, it's always landscape. So, I mean, that's, I haven't, I used to, when I did watercolors, I did a lot of figures. These are all, you know, landscape. Uh, there's trees, there's um, horizon lines. You know, you, you have to look sometimes to find them, but they're there and they're buried under the colors. Sometimes it's not the idea, because sometimes I don't have an idea when I start. So the process, you know, to put the music on and just paint, and that, that's, you know, very enjoyable. The, um, it, is, it is something to, when you get finished and you, you know it's finished, to stand back and say, wow, you know, um, hey, I did good, you know? <laughs> so I think all of that.